Hey, what's going on everyone? This is a continuation of our if statement videos. In this one, I wanted to talk about how to do an if statement when we're working with Boolean variables. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So when we are using these comparison operators, you can think of them as a black box where we pass in some data and it gives us back either true or false. So we pass in age and we pass in 65 and it's gonna check and it might be true, it might be false. So ultimately it needs to evaluate to one of these two values for the if statement to work. So if you are working with a Boolean variable, it is already true or false. So let's go through an example, but instead of using these operators, we're going to use a Boolean variable. So let's clear this out. I just wanted to show you guys that for reference of what it normally will look like. However, sometimes it'll look a little different. And in that situation, let's just say we have something like happy is true. And what you can do is you can say if happy equal equal true print Yay. However, this is a bit redundant. And I used to do this before I understood why, but basically we're saying if true is true, do this. But this comparison operator is going to return true or false. So instead of that, we could just put happy. And this will work just the same. So if happy, print yay. And in that case, it prints yay. So that's gonna save you some syntax. It's gonna make your life a little bit easier and it's a lot easier to read. I also wanted to mention just as a side note that you can put any variables or any kind of expressions inside of if statements. So let's say we extend this with a, an elif section. Inside of here, we can use something totally unrelated. So for example, you could just do five plus five is equal to 10. Like it has absolutely nothing to do with happy, however, in this case, it's always going to be true, so it's kind of stupid, but you can use other variables and that's fine as well. So if this was false, for example, then the LF will be hit and it says true here. I guess I should say the math part so we're not confusing anybody. So the expression here is totally unrelated to happy. Just wanted to mention that it, you can put any expression inside of the different LFs. You don't have to always do it on happy, but if you wanted to, you could just say else print sad face. So in this situation, it's completely dependent on the happy variable. It's either going to be yay or it's going to be a sad face depending on the value of happy. So that's how to use a Boolean variable inside of an if statement. Next up, we're going to talk about logical operators, which are essential for complex conditionals. It's going to be pretty awesome. So stay tuned. I'll see you then. And don't forget to subscribe.